Do you like the texture of avocados? How about mushrooms, eggplant, tuna, or salmon sushi? Many people like these foods, but many others think they're mushy or slimy. Crispiness is an attribute most people really appreciate in foods, and therefore they like potato chips and French baguettes. Almost everybody loves ice cream, but if it melts and refreezes, it's far less appealing, yet the chemical composition of the ice cream is unchanged. What makes it less appealing is that the texture of the ice cream has changed, the ice crystals themselves have been altered. The hardness of food is also very important for animals to take into account so they know how much force to generate to chew. Did you ever wonder about how we, or for that matter, any animal can sense food texture? Very little was known about how the physical features of food are sensed. To study food texture sensation, we elected to focus on the fruit fly, Drosophila melanogaster. Hi, my name is Yali Zhang. I'm the first author of this paper. To study how animals sense food textures, I chose fruit fly as the model system. I put the fruit fly into this peach dish and allow them to make choices between two food options. So one food option as showing blue hair is a soft food. The other option as showing red hair is a hard food. We found that the fruit fly prefer the soft food. So, like in humans, the fruit fly can discriminate food based on textures. The main taste organ is called the labium and it's situated at the end of the proboscis. The labium can be considered the fly tongue and is decorated with external taste bristles that contain neurons that sense the chemical composition of foods, including sugars and bitter compounds. Surprisingly, we found a mechanosensory neuron in the fly tongue sends out fine extensions called dendrites, which extend into the base of most of these taste bristles and sense the bending that is most pronounced by hard and viscous foods. So a big challenge for this project is to identify the cellular sensor or neuron that's dedicated to sensing food mechanics. When I first saw those beautiful multidendral neurons in the fly tongue, I was so excited because no one had reported before. I think it must do something really cool, really interesting. Indeed, this neuron turned out to be mechanically activated by the textural features of food. Upon touching hard food, the taste bristle bends back activating the food texture neuron called MDL. A signal is then sent to the brain. The activity of this neuron depends on a protein called TMC. Fly TMC is the counterpart of human TMC, which is acquired in the human inner ear for hearing. In the same way that we hear by detecting force pushing against the hair cells in our inner ear, flies sense food texture by detecting the food pushing against the bristles on the labium. We generated a mutation in the fly TMC, and when this protein is eliminated, bending of the bristle in the fly tongue no longer activates the food texture neuron, and the flies cannot discriminate foods on the basis of hardness and viscosity. We wanted to know whether controlled activation of the food texture neuron, which we call MDL, would result in specific behavioral responses. So we introduced an ion channel that could be activated by light into these cells. We found that artificial activation of the MDL neuron did produce behavioral responses, and remarkably that the type of response depended on the light intensity delivered. Low light levels, which we believe mimic sensation of soft food, produces attractive proboscis extension, but high light levels actually produces retraction, likely due to sensation of very hard foods. Thus, we propose that food texture sensation is mediated through these neurons in an intensity-dependent mechanism. Food text sensation is normally integrated with the evaluation of the chemical composition of the food or food taste. To test these ideas, we present fly, uh, fruit flies with a high concentration of sucrose solutions, together with either weak or strong light. We found that the animal remain attracted to sucrose in the presence of weak light. However, in the presence of strong light, the animal rejects the sucrose. So why is that? We propose, under strong light conditions, the animal feel the sucrose solution as too hard to eat. So like us, flies care about food texture sensation and they take into account the hardness and viscosity of food in combination with sweetness and other flavorings to decide what's delicious and unappealing. You could think of food texture sensation as the fly tongue's sense of touch. We found 
that there was a new type of sensory neuron that's very important for this sense of touch. Finally, we demonstrated that the sensory protein that's critical for food texture sensation is very similar to a human protein that's required for sensing the vibrations in your ear and for hearing.